so first of all we would be having uh, uh, this statement uh, on which we would be creating our digital logic design circuit uh, our statement is something like this we have to design a vending machine with the following requirements first requirement is that the vending machine should accept nickel and dime uh, nickel and nickels and dimes so n and dimes it is it should be accepting then it means it has two inputs then when the machine has received 15 sets it delivers a package of a can then we have a condition that only when the machine reaches out to have a can have received 15 set it would receive the candy then if too many money is added then the machine will return the money means if more than 15 sets is added to is given to the machine it would return the money back to the customer then when the candy has been released the the the, the, the release machine mechanism brings the circuit back to original state now uh, if when uh, when the machine it has released the candies and the money so what would happen it would just reverse back to reset now we have we have in this we can say then by this we can say that yes so in this designing the combination circuit what we have over here that the coin would enter coin analyzer yeah. that means dims coin enter coin analyzer would be there that would accept they and the dim and dims and nickels then this dims and nickels would be analyzed by it would be entered by the sequential circuit that we will have we would have produced if a is produced means the package of candy is produced if b is also included this means the extra money is included and this will, after the this and extra money is given to the circuit this circuit again go to null So how do we produce any circuit uh, diagram position? Uh, we are calculating it in mainly mainly uh, so this would be there. First, this is the initial condition, reset condition. So what will happen? First of all, the circuit will go to S one, and five sets are produced. Then S three to ten sets are produced, and then back to the sequential circuits. Then the sequential circuits will again produce to do and it will present. is uh, four uh, this it is again go to s2 and that will reduce five more cents and now the extant candy would be released now if if it does not go just to five it certainly go to 10 then also the candy would be released on five extra money would be released this means that five would also be reduced and as well as that 10 would be also reduced. Five for B is also be present and C A is also present. Now, how do we the circuit diagram be built? This is a circuit diagram. It has four sets of S S zero, that is S not, and four sets of S one, then four sets of S two, then three sets of four sets of S three. Now, how the sets given both are zero, it will produce the output would be zero. Now, let's check it out. Sorry, first we would be uh, now we would be given S one as zero as name of zero zero as one is zero one as two is equals to S one zero S three is equals to one one as we have produced. Now let's see the circuit how it will be produced. So here is the circuit. Um, our truth table. So one when we have zero zero A B, then the output and nickel is also in the dim the dims are also zero then zero zero. One zero 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 one zero zero zero. So in zero zero, it will be all will be zero. Now let's check it out. So this is our circuit. If both are zero, if both are zero, if we produce G A positive, G negative, both negative, both positive, you can see that the result is zero. 
Now after this, we produce zero one uh, would be positive. Uh, zero one would be reduced, and only one case y zero one when nick dims is positive. In this case, v v is now we will select both one uh, d positive and this. Yes. And you can see that the result is positive. Okay, uh, on uh, D, uh, both of them are one. It's an X K produced, and you can see there is no change produced. <coughs> so X, it was a don't care condition in my, uh, sorry. On uh, X and Y, when both are D and Z and one are zero, one. So after this, uh, a y is also positive when v is positive, <coughs> and both are zero. So let's see how our circuit is produced when the machines. Okay, so what we will do, we will simply go for this control one and this positive. Now uh, c is also present one one. Okay. So we have to see the circuit and uh, this is logic design circuits. Okay, so in this one moment, both are one. Uh, no, sorry, where was that? Both are one, then uh, the uh, x one by both are one. So it will also be this way as well. Now, <clears throat> if d is one and a is one. So it will also be okay. First of all, we would we, we were looking at this circuit. So first of all, zero zero. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Closes every time. If both are zero. Yes, so you can see it is positive. Next turn is when nickel is one. It is also positive. Nickel is one. So we will simply press nickel one and you can see why is positive. Similarly, like this. You can simply check it out like this and our circuits are being uh, um, produced. Now, these are uh, in one, both of uh, them one and uh, PSD one one. This is the tone care conditions produced over here. So, this we would not be checking out these. Uh, because there would be a donkey position, it would be either one or either zero. So uh, we had to, I've done k mapping and I've produced this circuit by k mapping over here, as shown over here. Uh, this is one k map, this is second uh, bundle, this is the third bundle, and that's why there are three combinations, then there in the second dB, there are two combinations, then in the is uh, in uh, DC. Uh, in the Z, there, there is only one combination, and in Y, there are three combinations. So this produced uh, to be uh, this circuit that is working as the same as uh, we have the circuit over here. So to the, now, uh, and as this one uh, circuit is produced, and this is circuit is explained, I hope you understand it, and thank you so much.